Okay, so now moving on, we're going to check out his third ship. So, what's this one then, buddy? This here is my Phantom Ray. Yep. Pretty much, um, I did some more research and such, and I found out efficient ways of doing uh, power management and such. Yes. So I can do this. Hold on a second. Server is stopped responding for a second. <laughs> Drum roll. Okay, you should back up. So we can do this. Excellent day. And the ray is gone. And the ray is back. I like the tail on it. That looks cool. The tail Thank and the you. wings. It's just really nice. Uh, the concept. Yeah. It's great. I, I, I did this, you know, I, I looked at pictures of manta rays and such, and I did this before I saw any, before I had any knowledge of pirate's ship. Yeah. I mean, but, I mean, halfway through building this, I pretty much had the power array set up. Before to be I honest, about looking, tap well, no. lo looking at it, you've actually done it differently. You, you've both got the same, um, you know, you've both got the same like idea for the curve yeah but you've actually yours go along the x and his go along the z if that makes sense oh. the, the reactors no, no mine go mine go x and z well yeah but i mean if i was standing Three over nine. the wings like i'm looking over the wings now right yeah. and the the pattern of your generators goes outwards if i remember yeah, right look at the bottom and your shields go outwards too, but his shields go along the wing rather than, sorry, go, yeah, rather than across it. I don't well, know. Uh, basically, I, put, I made the power generator, yeah. and then I filled it in with shields and such. But yeah. pretty much, I have 20 separate power rays, all interlaced, not connected, and mm -hmm. so that gives me over one mil e per second, but... I, I was building this before I realized about the one mil per second. Mm. So, this thing's got some redundancy in it. Yeah. I've had I, I've had one of your god turret, one of your uh, wrecking balls in god mode. Mm. Well, pretty much the entire middle segment, all the way through, and it was still able to permacloak. Yeah, it will still permacloak with a hole in it. Nice. With a big, massive, big giant hole. hole. <laughs> Oh, well, that's good then. So it can take a few hits and still cloak up. That's yeah. interesting. But, but the only problem is it's so intricate in the bottom and such. All this wiring is so intricate. You know, one wrong place block will take out a big chunk of my power that I can't actually repair it. I have to spawn a new one in if I get damaged. Right. So give it a fire then. I want to see those AMCs working. Show me your, uh, show me the tail cannon, my friend. Well, oh, there are three ones. Oh, yeah, so they link. Ah, beautiful. And yeah, that's chewing up quite 400 nicely. damage each. Do you want to shoot uh, the front face? Just give it a click on the front face. Oh, that's okay. one second. Literally, a click is just that. Yeah. So I can do three blocks at once. Yeah, but like I say, it's lightweight. It's a stealth ship. What, yeah, what are you going to do? Yeah, it's, it's not meant to actually fight anything. It's meant to not be fought. Cover ops. <clears throat> yeah. And it's beautiful as well. I like it. It yeah, looks I a know. bit. It's, it's, it is like a manta ray. It's, it's nice. It, it's uh, Literally, I brought up pictures of a manta ray to look at while building this. Mm. Well, cheers for bringing it down. And um, Thank you. thanks for taking the time to sort of wait in line. And uh, yeah, to everyone watching this, thanks very much. And I'll see you in the next video.